This is Luke from Emo Electric. We're here today to show you how to replace the propeller on the e-propulsion Spirit Evo and Spirit 1.0 Plus. The motor that we have today is an Evo, but the process is exactly the same on the Spirit. So to do so, we'll need a 17 millimeter socket wrench and a three millimeter Allen key, as well as a replacement prop. And we've also got the user manual here, page 51 shows uh, the order that the washers, the propeller, and the anodes go on. So if you've watched this video, but need to do it yourself, this is helpful to have. And we'll link that user manual in the description. So the first thing we're gonna do is disconnect the battery from our motor. So there's no way that prop can spin while we're working on it. And then we're gonna raise our motor up. And the next step is to remove the shaft anode. So this is our three millimeter Allen key. And you can spin the prop or spin the Allen key, whatever is easier. Take that bolt off. And then we'll pull the anode out. Inside is your split washer. Sometimes these are a little tricky to get off of the shaft if it's been sitting for a while. Um, if that's the case, a pair of needle nose pliers or a screwdriver to kind of fit down in here, move it side to side, work it out, um, should, should get that anode off for you. And this anode is still in good shape, right? No pitting there. So this one we could put right back on. But as an aside, if your anodes are getting pitted, wearing away, it's time to replace them. So now we'll grab our 17 millimeter um, socket wrench here. All right, and then the prop should slide right off. I need to jiggle it back and forth just a little bit. There we go. All right, so notice we've got our lock nut and a washer inside there. And then here we have our shear pin and another washer. Now, if you need to replace the shear pin, you'd follow these same steps, except now you'd put in your new shear pin. Uh, usually you'll know if the shear pin's broken because you don't get your normal speed at full power output. And that's because the uh, friction and just the pressure from the nut holding the shaft onto, holding the propeller onto the shaft will keep it tight and prevent it from slipping at slow speeds. But once you go to full power, uh, it'll start to slip. So if that's happening, it's likely a broken shear pin. Um, we're just gonna put this same prop back on, but uh, we do sell new e-propulsion spirit propellers. If you buy them from us, we'll not only include the propeller and the hardware, but a second shear pin. And that way, if you break a shear pin, you don't have to call us and wait for a part that costs a buck. Um, all right, so to reinstall the prop, first thing we'll do is put this washer on, then put in our shear pin. Then take a look at the bottom of your prop. You can see where the shear pin fits. So we'll do our best to line that up. Sometimes it takes a couple tries here. There we go. So you can see it's gone all the way down. There's just a small gap between the motor and the prop. So we've locked into the shear pin there. And we're gonna drop this next washer on. And then our nut. Let's get that started by hand. Grab our socket again. 
Now, e-propulsion doesn't give a torque spec for this. Uh, obviously, you wanna make sure that the nut is tight and there's no play. So if I loosen this up a little bit, see that it wants to kind of move around a little bit like that. So make sure that you've tightened it enough so there's none of that play, but it is possible to over tighten it. So that seems pretty good to me. No more play there. And finally, we'll reinstall our anode. Just drop that over the end of the shaft. Put our washer over our bolt here, machine screw. Tighten that up. Again, doesn't need to be super tight. Don't want it to work its way out, but careful not to over tighten it. And that's it. So uh, you'll need to do this again if you break your shear pin or if you break your prop. I always recommend having an extra prop on hand. As you can see by this video, it only takes a couple minutes to swap it out. If you have one on hand and the right tools on board or nearby, you're only off the water for a couple minutes. Uh, so it's a cheap, cheap insurance policy, have an extra prop. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please like it. Please subscribe to our channel if you're interested in electric outboards and check out our other videos on uh, e-propulsion, Torquedo, Timo, and more electric motors.